Miguel Torres here. Day 11 of my training camp. I was trying to lose 10 pounds in one month. Today I woke up, I was 175.8 pounds. I was extremely happy when I got up. I knew that I would end up putting more weight off as I, I began training more and that my diet would kick in. I feel like my body's finally entering ketosis the right way. And uh, everything's going pretty much the way I thought it would go. The plan that I set for us so far is working and it's surpassing the, the goals that I set for myself. And usually when you set a really good plan, when you have a good plan, it works that way. And I was sitting down and I was thinking about what I had to do for the rest of the day. And I realized in my mind that there was a lot of things that I wanted to do and there were things that I needed to do. And that made me think about today's topic. Today's topic is going to be about wants and needs. Everybody wants something. Everybody, everybody thinks that they, that they want a, a giant car or a big house or whatever it is that you think you want. Usually, usually, most of the time in my mindset, when you want something, you probably don't need it. What do we really need, you know? So so for me, none between wants and needs. It's the holiday season. A lot of parents, a lot of people are going to try to go out and spend a bunch of money on gifts to, to impress somebody and make somebody happy. And I believe that the idea for today is material things will not bring you happiness, not in the end of your life. And what's truly going to bring you happiness is accomplishing a goal, living for a certain standard, or living for a certain for a certain role in your life. It's going to fulfill your, your inside desires for wanting to be not a person, but a human being. COVID hit us really hard this, as far as like economy-wise and as far as going to work and stuff like that, hit us really hard. I know a lot of parents are gonna try to get their kids Xbox Fives or Sixes or PS Sixes, whatever. I don't play video games, I don't know, I'm an old guy now. I have no idea. But don't try to cut yourself to get your child this thing. Most children and my respect of what they need from teaching children all the time and working with teens, all they need is a little bit of attention, a little, a little bit of love and just, they want to experience a little bit of life. You know, so instead of spending 500 bucks or 700 bucks or whatever you're going to spend on the system, you know, book a vacation for the family somewhere for the weekend, get away somewhere real nice where you guys can just hang out and just do something together that's going to build a memory. I'm not saying video games aren't fun, but our toys aren't fun, our, our material things aren't fun, but in my in my life, what I've seen is better to have a life experience, people you enjoy and you love. If you get a bunch of stuff that you can just replace with some other stuff from somebody else, it's, you know, it's not going to matter to you. So, wants and needs. What do you need in your life and what do you want in your life? And how important is what you want as far as in the respect of everything that you really need and that you actually have? What are you going to do to get what you need? And what do we need as human beings? You know, we need shelter, we need comfort, we need, we need security, we need food. There's basic things that we all need. Do you have those things? If you don't have those things, why do you keep spending your time, which is really money, because when you spend your money, you're just spending the time that you spent to make that money. Why would you spend your time on something, filling a void that's just gonna keep getting bigger with material things? Why not try to let go of those material things a little bit, which make your life way easier, and then you start seeing that building relationships and living for values and living for things that are going to be fruitful in your life, they're gonna, they're gonna actually like reap, you reap the rewards of those things. You know, when you hang out with somebody and you have a good experience, that experience is gonna be a memory in your, in your mind for the rest of your life. Who remembers the game they played two or three years ago? I had played video games 15 years ago and I remember some of those games, but they weren't experiences that changed my life or that gave me a, mem a memory that was a lasting memory. So if anyone has any questions out there, and we have any comments. My diet's going well. I didn't work out this morning. I rested. My body was very sore from the last couple of days. I pulled a couple almost all nighters for a day and a half, two days. And my body's pretty sore for this morning. I rested. I'm gonna hit it good this evening. I'm gonna lose some weights. I'm gonna wrestle. I'm gonna kickbox a little bit, move around. Hopefully I'll be able to hit some pads. And uh, as far as working out, everything's going well. Diet's going well. And if you need any help, Need any advice or any uh, talk to somebody, you can hit me up at Miguel Torres MMA at gmail.com on my email. You can write me a comment in the comment section, or you can send me a direct message wherever you're following me at. And 
Google, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, wherever you're at. You send me a direct message and I'll get back to you at my earliest convenience. Have a good day, guys.